How come Paul's not talking? I think he's busy. I think it's quite critical right now that he uh, blows, not talks. Look at that, that's amazing. Wow, that's a flame. Get in there. So I was being super helpful this morning because this is how Paul lit the fire last night with these beautiful little lichen. So I've been around and diligently collect all this little lichen and he's just totally usurped me and he's like lit a fire just by blowing on old bits of wood. I mean come on that's so inconsiderate, I was just trying to play and have a bit of fun. And look at him, he's just blown a fire from nothing. <laughs> Were you complaining about how wet the wood is? Yeah, it's not not uh, not like the wood we have in Wales or even in Canada. It's dead, it's standing, and it's rotting, and it's wet. And Paul would tell me off if I brought that back, and I'm just not prepared to suffer the indignity. Please say you're making coffee. I'm making coffee, Kevin. Finally, we've got coffee. We've finally got the kettle to boil. We're finally having coffee. Okay, because I'm Canadian. This whole tea yeah. thing's driving me crazy, okay? <laughs> tea, very British. <laughs> Oh, softly. Is it done yet? Is it done yet? Is it done yet? Actually, after that, now I have to pee. <laughs> <laughs> Paul promised me he'd wow me this morning making the camp coffee. Let's see what's going to happen. Kevin, it's been brewing for a few minutes. And now, we have a look. It's all kind of bitty, you know, the grounds are all floating around. And we need to get those grounds to the bottom of the pot. So this is the technique, the special technique which we're sharing with the world. What are you going to do? I'm going to drop it. No, I've yeah, never I'm done this drop before. It. I learned this from a Norwegian in a cabin, a remote cabin in Norway. And it's the best coffee making technique for the outdoors that I've seen of all of them. Putting sticks in, hitting with stones, this is the best one. So you drop it. And it gives you some morning exercises as well. Warms you up for the canoeing. Come and have a look. Mmm, coffee. Justina, have you seen that before? No, I haven't. I wasn't quite sure if you've taken the piss actually. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it kind of looked like some like cartoon, like it was a bit like this, wasn't it? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, coffee. Mm, coffee. <laughs> coffee. No grounds! <laughs> so how did you get started in bushcraft? How did I get started in bushcraft? Well, um, when I was a kid I was interested in, I lived, grew up in the countryside and I was interested in um, survival skills. I had a few friends in the village who used to go out and build dens and light fires and stuff and then my dad bought me Lofty Wise and Survival Handbook and we tried a few things out with that and we built little survival tins and all those sort of things. Um, and then later on I got into backpacking and hiking and I was going to places on my own and I was you know, using a stove and a tent and all these sorts of things and I wanted to learn a little bit more about what if I needed to light a fire you know, like we did yesterday. It's like, it's wet, I want to light a fire, what can I do? And so I, I actually looked for some training in that and I couldn't really find anybody that was still doing proper survival training as it were um, and so again a few years down the line I found um, uh, a, a bushcraft school and I started going there for courses and then I started assisting there and then I ended up with a full-time job there. Now you have your own business. Now I have my own business teaching bushcraft. Yes. Cool. Okay what? I just said, did anyone else ever try to smoke these bits of the banana when they're dry? And everyone looks at me like, what the hell? <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't really uh, do that sort of thing much. No, you're yeah, right, you're thinking. But uh, at school, someone said you could kind of smoke this, and I didn't smoke cigarettes or anything else. So I, that was me trying to be cool, was trying to smoke um, smoke these. I don't, I don't think it really worked. <laughs>